morning everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! amazing episode for today, we will be continuing our discussion about the characteristics of sound waves. We will now be focusing on pitch and frequency. Just like other kinds of waves, the frequency of sound waves is measured by the number of wave cycles completed per unit time. The unit of frequency is cycles per second or hertz, symbolized by capital H and small letter Z. The faintest audible sound for humans or the upper limit and the intensity of pain-producing sounds or lower limit ranges from 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second. These values can be seen in the sound frequency scale. Waves of frequencies lower than 20 Hz are called infrasonic waves. And waves of frequencies higher than 20,000 Hz are called ultrasonic waves. These waves are considered sound waves, although they cannot be heard by a person of normal hearing. They are simply called compression waves and are parts of the sonic spectrum. Different types of organisms produce, transmit, and receive sound in various frequencies. Here are some examples. The range of frequencies that whales use are from 30 Hz to about 8,000 Hz. Humans can only hear part of the whale song. We cannot hear the lowest of whale frequencies. We humans can detect sounds in a frequency range from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Actually, some babies can hear frequencies slightly higher than, than 20,000 Hz but they lose some of this sensitivity as they mature. The upper limit in average adults is often closer to 15 to 17,000 Hz. Then bats emit calls from 12,000 Hz to 160,000 Hz. Let's have another trivia! Did you know that whale voices are able to travel a whopping 479 miles through the waters of the ocean, they have the ability to communicate with each other for long distances. So for whales, long-distance relationship is not a problem. In the previous video, we learned that the intensity of sound is responded to by the human ear in terms of loudness or intensity levels. On the other hand, the frequency of sound is recognized by the human ear in terms of what we commonly call the pitch. It is how the ear recognizes the frequency of sounds. A lower pitch sound corresponds to a low frequency wave, while a higher pitch sound corresponds to a high frequency wave. Before we end our short Shansh Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of the things that we have discussed. In this video, we learned about the characteristics of waves, which are pitch and frequency. We learned about the frequency of sound waves, the frequencies of different sources, and this, the sound frequency scale, and the relationship between frequency and pitch. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!